So, Nicholas, we have been working on the Journey song. I hope things are going well. We'll look at that. Hopefully you get something recorded. I'll send you a message. You have a place where you can put your recordings. So I am going to do a new recording of the Journey song, although there is a pretty good one up there. So now we're going to do rolls again. This is page 40 in your, in your, tech, in your book. So we're thinking of a nine-stroke roll here, and we'll, we'll do this, and you'll be able to try this when we get uh, to see you on Wednesday afternoon. So the way this will work is you're thinking in this case a nine stroke roll is one E and a two. And when you're doubling, when you're buzzing that, that's how that works. One E and a two. One E and a two. So that's your nine. So let's try some nines. I'll play them. I'll play it. Then you play it. One E and a two. One E and a two. And you should start it with either hand. You have to practice that. So the right hand first. One E and a two. Left hand. Now your first measure is one E and a two and. One E and a two and. No roll. And then you roll. And then you would play this over and over and over. So let's look at that one. And... <clears throat> We'll talk about this, and you can try this in the lesson, plus we'll talk a little bit about the journey song. Here we go. So the first, first, first line, and it's written over where you, how you play the roll is written on the first beat. So one E and a two is the roll, and when you get to the nine, that's the way that's played. So here we go. No roll for two, two bars, then the roll for two bars. Again. So it's one E and a two and three E and a four and one E and a two and roll E and a roll and. Next major just moves the nine stroke roll over to beat two that carries over to beat one. So without the roll, with a roll, so that when that that ends on the one of the next measure. So it's one and two E and a one. So if you're on the roll, it's one and roll E and a one and roll E and a one for the two bars that have the roll in there. Here we go. Without the roll. Roll. Again. Roll. And usually when you end that, You have to go past the measure. So again, we are in two four times. So now you're not. You're only thinking of two beats in the measure. All right. The next number three. <clears throat> number three has one, and the roll starts on and. So it's and uh, two e n. So it goes when you do the roll. That's your roll. So it's one and a two e n and one and a two e n. I will write the counts over the rolls, the first roll for you, so you know. So I'll do I'll do line three two times. Here we go. Line three. Roll. One and a two e and one and a two e and one. One and a two e and. There you go. That's line three with the rolls. I got some music going here. Let me turn that off. All right. So we're back. Number four, so number four has a lot of rests. You only have one roll in the whole thing. So the roll goes two E and a one, okay? So you can see, so the first measure is rest, two E and a one, two. Rest, roll E and a one, two. Okay, so that's how that, now the, the roll can end on any kind of, it could end on a 16th note, it could end on a quarter note, it could end on anything. It, that's how it, that's how it ends. So in this case, it's still going to sound like a, 
what they have is this, is they have some counting. So on beat one of major four, you don't, you don't play anything. So you might think to yourself, one and, two e and a one and two. One, roll, roll e and a one, two. One, rest, two e and a one, two. One, roll e and a one, two. So that's beat four. Now the combination study, which we always have been doing, the way the combination <clears throat> study works is each measure is a little different. And so the first measure is just like we've always done. The second measure is, is number three, the one, <clears throat> and it goes one, two, we end a one. And then it goes two, we end a one, and a two. So I'll write this over top for you, the first line of the combination study. Here we go. One E and a two and one and two E and a one and E and a one and a two rest. One E, two and one rest. Two E and a one rest. One and a two rest. So there's that line. Okay. One more time for that combo study. One E and a two and one rest. Two E and a one rest. A one and a two. So there's that second line of the combo. And you can do these singularly when you kind of record them. So this one goes, no rolls at all in the first two measures. You're just doing a regular reading like you normally did. One and a two and. One E and two and. Those are no rolls. So let's listen to that. One and a two and. One E and two and. First two bars of the last line down. Then the next measure has one one and a two e n. See that has that nine stroke roll in there, and a two e n is a nine stroke roll. So it goes one, one. So he goes. Here's that. Here's that line twice. One and a two and one e and two and and a two e and one and two and and a two and one e and two and and a two e and one and two and. So we'll go ahead, and we'll, I'll see you in the lesson. I'll let you know that this is up. You can work on this, maybe do some recording on this, and also some recording back on the song that you're working on. All right. Talk to you later.